hi everyone okay let's provide a solution to this problem here y plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16 we're going to provide the complete solution to this problem here now before we do that we don't have to expand this to the power of of 4 because the expansion is going to be a lot so let's do this y plus 2 to the power of 2 then to the power of 2 because if you open this bracket you're going to have this back and this is equal to um, we have 16 right okay let's still have 16 Let's still have um, 16 here. Let's still have 16. And now what we'll do now is to take the square root of both sides so that this will go. So if you take the square root, you're going to have just y plus 2 to the power of 2 to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. Right? So this is the point to take the square root. Then let's expand this now the expansion of this is going to give us y squared plus right okay so we have um 4y then we have plus 4 and it's equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4. okay now we have, we're going to have two equations. One is positive here, the other is negative. So let's have y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 4. Remember, I will still come back here to pick the negative 4. Bring, bringing this to the left, we have y squared plus 4y plus 4 minus 4. And that is equal to 0. So what can you see? This and this will go. So we have y squared plus 4y to be equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation that can be easily solved by factorization. So we pick y. y one y remains there. We are factorizing plus 4 equals 0 now from here it is either y is 0 or y plus 4 is 0 so y remains 0 or y is now 0 minus 4 so that our y is 0 or y is equal to minus 4 so from here we have two solutions and then we'll now go back to the other equation which we left out and pick it and then prov um, provide a solution to it. Okay, let me look at it. y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals minus 4. The one we used before, here we have plus 4. Now we bring this to the left to get y squared plus 4y plus 4 minus okay it turns to plus 4 again and that is equal to 0 now we have y squared plus 4y then plus 8 plus 8 equals 0 so can this be easily factorized the answer is no so what then do we do we use the formula method and the formula is y equals remember the unknown variable will always be the subject of the formula right so we have y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a so that y will now be equal to minus b plus or minus, we 
we have b squared that is um by the way let's replace with let um figures now right our b is 4 so here we have minus 4 this b squared becomes 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 the coefficient of of y then our c is the constant which is 8 then we divide all of that by 2 times 1 okay so let's continue okay so from here y is minus 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 8 is 32 then we divide by 2 so that if we go ahead y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 32 is minus 16 then we divide by 2 to go ahead y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 and this is over 2 then y from here is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 4 square root of 16 is 4 times square root of negative 1 is i and then we divide by 2 so that y from here will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus we're going to have 4i everything is over 2 so that 2 can go into both of them so our y will now be 2 into this is minus 2 plus or minus 2 into this is 2 then we have i remember this is a 2 in 1 solution and um, we got two solutions before right okay so let's bring the four solutions together we have y before to be 0 let's call that equation um, solution 1 or the first solution okay so this is the first solution this is the second the second solution the third solution is from here which is plus now let me write the fourth solution this is going to be minus 2 minus 2 i so these are the four solutions to the equation